Hello, landlords. I'm Arnie Advocate. You may remember me from such compelling court dramas as Larger Than the Law and You Can Handle the Truth. But today we're going to talk all about preparing a landlord for an eviction trial. Let's get started. We sometimes hear from landlords that the laws are too favorable for tenants. Back in the good old days, we could just take the front door right off the hinges. Sooner or later, those bags were packed. The law, it turns out, requires that landlords follow specific rules when presenting a case for eviction. The good news is that when a landlord follows these rules, winning eviction cases can be quite simple. Today, we will be in the courtroom of the Honorable Judge Thomas Temper. I'm only angry because of how much I love justice. If we know what the court expects of us and we follow the rules set out in the Texas Property Code, filing for eviction can be a piece of cake. Mmm, that looks good. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is now 9 a.m. I'll be calling the court docket to see who is present and who is not. If a landlord fails to appear for trial, the case will be dismissed. If a tenant fails to appear for trial, the landlord may present their case to the court for a default judgment. When I call your name, please answer by saying here. Linda Lufamoff. Here. Freddie First Guy. Here. Hugh Gigo the Fourth. <clears throat> Present. Keith Paid It. Here. Al Waislate. Mr. Waislate. No, Mr. Waislate. Okay. Normally on time. Here. Gabe na notice. Here. Noah Dia. Uh, who me? I'm here. A got nothing. That's got new ton. Got new ton. Here. A lot of receipts. Here. Joseph Schmo. I'm here on that case. Arnie advocate here for Joe Schmo. Manny defaults. Mr. Defaults. No, Mr. Defaults. Okay, that does it for the court docket. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Thomas Temper presiding. You may all be seated. We are here on the eviction docket. When I call you to the bench, you will approach, and you better be ready to present your case. Nothing makes me more upset than when someone is not ready for court. The plaintiff will speak first. Then the defendant. Okay, let's hear the first case. <clears throat> Linda Leftemoff versus Freddie First Guy. Ms. Leftemoff, let's hear it. Your Honor, this is a very simple case about non-payment of rent. Mr. First Guy, did you forget to pay your rent? No, Your Honor. I paid and I paid on time. My roommate, Ned Next Up, did not pay his share. Ms. Leftemoff? There is no mention here of a roommate? Is there a roommate who signed the lease? Yes. Linda left him off. You forgot to include all the tenants who signed the lease. You lose. Case closed. Next case. Hugh Gigo the fourth versus Keith Paid it. So what do we have here, gentlemen? Your Honor. This man has an unauthorized pet on the property. His lease does not allow pets, and now my house smells of dog. Mr. Payton, what do you have to say about that? I don't have a dog, and the house smells fine. This is a lie, and it was all witnessed by my good friend, Miss Dents. Miss Evie Dents. Mr. Jigo, did you see or smell this dog? <laughs> no, I did not. I wouldn't defend these nostrils with such a foul stench. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and bring up Miss Dance to testify to what she saw and smelled. Miss Dance? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> she was booked at a prior engagement. No, Evie Dance? 
You showed up to my courtroom without E.V. Dance? How do you plan to prove your case without E.V. Dance? That is not possible. You lose. Case closed. Next case. Al Ways Late versus Norma Lee On Time. Wait a minute. Are you the one who was here before the courthouse was even opened? Guilty as charged. Well, where's the landlord? Haven't seen him. No landlord? What does he think this is? Uh, it's great if you show up late, court? There's no such thing. Case dismissed. Next case. <clears throat> Gabe Nanotis versus Noah Dia. Come on up. Uh, what's your story? Your Honor, I just want him to leave. I don't really know what's going on. Mr. Notice, I don't seem to have a copy of your notice to vacate in the file. Did you deliver a notice to vacate to this tenant before you filed your eviction? No, I just want him to leave. Isn't that enough? No notice. No eviction. You lose. Next case. I got nothing versus a lot of receipts. This ought to be good. Mr. Got nothing, tell me you can prove your case. Yeah, this lady hasn't paid in like forever. I mean, she pays a little bit here and a little bit there, but she's all over the place and I'm sick of it. Not true, Your Honor, and I have every receipt since 2017. Mr. Got Nothing, the tenant appears to contradict your testimony with documentary evidence. Do you have a ledger of these payments you agree she's made? Do you have a receipt book that shows she owes a balance? Not with me, but I can probably work something up if I had another day or two. Not with you? Do you think David Crockett sacrificed his life so you could walk into this court without a single document to prove your case? No, sir. You lose. Case closed. Next. Joseph Schmo versus Manny Defaults. <clears throat> Mr. Advocate, I hope you haven't come to this bench with an unprepared landlord. Hmm? Have you? Well, have you? Uh, no, no, sir. Prepared. This is something you will find in today's uh, proceeding that we, in fact, are. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, to begin, we have a receipt book filled with every payment made by the tenant, and this book clearly shows that the last payment was made more than 30 days ago. Next, we have multiple photographs of the unauthorized cat village that Mr. Defaults has allowed to live in the rental unit in defiance of the lease agreement. Finally, my client Joe Schmo can provide the court with hours of testimony regarding the numerous notices sent to this tenant, default, termination, non-payment, notice to vacate, all sent by personal delivery, U.S. mail, certified mail, and every time posting to the inside of the main entry door. Your Honor, we are prepared to provide the court with multiple hours of video evidence proving each element. Mr. Advocate, the tenant did not appear. The landlord wins this case by default. Now stop talking and get out of my court. Uh, yes, attending eviction court can be a little nerve-wracking, but with proper preparation and great evidence, you too can present a super case to the court and walk away with a win. Until next time, friends, happy leasing. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I know I'm a little bit late. Who are you? Uh, the name's uh, Waislate. Al Waislate. Uh, I believe I got a court case here. Son, your case was dismissed yesterday. Get out of my courtroom!